many shrimps do you have to eat before you make your skin turn pink? Eat too much and you'll get sick. Shrimps are pretty rich. Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Mr. Ten and stuff, or whatever my name is. I changed it a bunch of times. I don't even know what it is anymore. But uh, so today for this unboxing, I just want to do this really quick to show off what you get when buying the character of Bonito Cassette Tapes, which just came out. So I pre-ordered mine, so they just came in, and this is pretty neat. So for the first cassette tape is the first album, Bonito Generation, as you can see here by the title of it. So this is a very colorful uh, case, and on the back it's blue, so it's like yellow, red, blue, so like the colors or something. And here's the track listing, and this is the order in which they appear in. Um, as for the cassette itself, there's nothing, it says side one here and side two there. So that's kind of, it's got a like, mm, tongue in cheek kind of vibe. But on the back, there's nothing here, um, which is kind of not disappointing, but you need to see something here. At least, you know, maybe the title of the, of the album and like the songs that are on here. So yeah, this is a really simple, basic thing. But for the inside, there's this like a uh, little like uh, photo of the band. So yeah, there's uh, Gus, Sarah, and Jamie. And here are the producer and credits and like yeah, you know people that make the song and stuff. And that's it for this tape. It's not a lot to this one. However, it's still very colorful, and it's not that often that you see um, like bright blue cassette tapes. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's it for this one. The next one is Totep, also known as the One True EP. So since this is an EP, there's only four songs on this one. And by the cover it, it's dark. And the cassette tape is also opposite of the previous album. It's clear, transparent. And there's only a little bit of real in here because there's only four songs. Um, in terms of the packaging, uh, these are the four songs that come here. Uh, the One True Path, only acting, you know, how it is in cinema. And here's another picture of the band, this time in a very different setting. Um, they're more like, it's not just like warehouse or whatever. And if you open it up, here's the, um, the titles again, and the credits for producers and guitars and stuff. And then here you get a picture of Sarah, right here. I guess she's in like some purple town or something. And, the UK probably. And yeah, this is the um, album cover for it. Now the interesting thing about this one is that since it only has four songs, what they did instead of us. Because normally what you would do is you would put two songs on each side. One, two songs here, two side, two songs here. So instead what they did was they put four songs, all four of them on one side. And they put the same four songs on the other side. So you're essentially getting you're getting eight tracks, but it's four songs copied twice. Um, so that's kind of neat, I guess, especially with this one, because with this EP, there's transition songs. So like one song ends and then the other one begins immediately after we transition into it. So that's kind of good how they did that. So, you know, you don't mess up the transitions. So this is the last one, this is the newest uh, cassette or album that came out. It came out back in like September, I think. And this is Time and Place. Yeah, here in the spine, it's just Time and Place by Cara Cara Bonito. And here are the track listings. And this is just a regular album cover, there's nothing different. But this one does have a white case on it. And the same thing, and it's a transparent, clear cassette. So this one says Care Care Bonito side A, the back one says time and place side B. Uh, you can't really read it that well because the words from this side blur in with this one because it's transparent. So as you can see here, here's the tape. So there's not a lot to this tape. In terms of packaging, there is no inside uh, picture or anything like the other ones, it's just the cover. Um, but here you do get credits. These are probably the longest credits out of the three cassette tapes. Uh, so it's great that they include the credits and stuff. Recorded 2017 to 2018. Uh, 
Press Play Studios, Bermondsey, and Gus's room. Yeah. So that's it for the last cassette tape. So here are all the cassettes, um, the front covers. So yeah, this one definitely has the most colors, the most vibes. And these two are just clear tapes, which it's fitting because this one is more of like an electro electronic, you know, pop uh, album. And these two are more like punk, you know, albums. So they're they're very different from each other, which is why I like. Um, along with this, you also get the sticker for Polyvinyl, which is the label that they're on right now. So that they release the tapes and stuff. You get this card, you know, saying like, thanks for buying our stuff. Uh, hashtag I heart polyvinyl, which I don't think anyone does this or anything. And you get this sticker, this character Bonito sticker, which is like just the logo of the band. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this or not. I don't know what I'm gonna even use this for. So that's all you get with this. Oh, and you also get this airhead, which I don't have. I mean, I think someone already ate it or something. But I mean, airheads. I'm not really into airheads or something, but. If you're into that then that's cool but that's it for this video and this kind of mini quick review i think some yeah i reviewed three cents or something just to know whether or not you should buy or not in my opinion ten dollars for this one eight dollars for this one ten dollars for this one which is a fair deal for cassette tapes considering no one else makes them anymore and they're not like common or anything and in terms of audio quality i have listened to each one of them uh, the audio is very good, however there's a, not an issue, but this is something that happens in really recent cassette tapes um, where like the other side is listening through the other side, so like you're listening to side A but you can hear a little bit of side B in between the breaks, but it's not really a big deal for me because it's so common in new remasterings of cassettes, um, but just so you know that's a thing, but it's not really a problem in my opinion. You know, I can still listen to them, they still sound great. Um, yeah, I think if you're a fan of KKB, you should definitely buy these to have like, you know, something unique, something different than the typical CD or vinyl. But that's just my opinion, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. I'll try to post some new stuff soon. So that's it. See ya. And goodbye or good night. Wow, 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 wow,